Welcome, and thanks for joining Basingstoke Salvation Army's daily devotional, Battle Drill, with me, Lieutenant Rob. For more information, go to www.equippinghispeople.com forward slash daily dash devotional. Hello. This week we're looking at Mark chapter 3 verses 13 to 19. Here it is from the New Living Translation. Jesus chooses the twelve apostles. Afterward, Jesus went up on a mountain and called out the ones he wanted to go with him, and they came to him. Then he appointed twelve of them and called them his apostles. They were to accompany him, and he would send them out to preach, giving them authority to cast out demons. These are the twelve he chose. Simon, whom he named Peter, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, but Jesus nicknamed them Sons of Thunder, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, Judas Iscariot, who later betrayed him. As a Christian, the Holy Spirit has given you at least one special ability to help fulfil God's calling on your life. The moment you accepted that Jesus had chosen you, the moment you answered his call and came to him, he saved you. He forgave you for all the wrong things you've done in your life. He gave you eternal life. He gave you the gift of his Holy Spirit to help you become more like him and as a witness to your salvation. And he gave you at least one special ability with which to serve him and other people. We call these special abilities spiritual gifts. There are several of them dotted throughout the New Testament, but they are all given to help you do what Jesus has chosen you for and called you to do. Sadly, most Christians don't know what their spiritual gifts are, and as a Christian leader, I must take my share of the responsibility for that. But you have at least one, and if you don't know what it is, then I urge you to discover what it is. There are small group courses like Network you can take, and assessments or questionnaires you can complete. Ask your spiritual leader for some help. Once you know what your spiritual gifts are, God doesn't expect you to keep them to yourself. They should be used to benefit other people. I can be blessed by your spiritual gifts, which may well be different to mine, and you can be blessed by mine. Perhaps the biggest blessing in your life is when you are using your spiritual gifts to bless others and to fulfil Jesus' calling on your life. Why not take a step towards that today? As you think about your answer to that question, why not consider this question throughout the day too? How are you using your spiritual gifts today to bless others? And I'll see you soon for another Battle Drill. We hope you've been encouraged and equipped by this daily devotional. Why not find us on Facebook, Instagram or YouTube by searching for Basingstoke Salvation Army. And join us again soon for another battle drill. God bless you.